how strong are Taiwan's defences against money laundering? A team of international experts has arrived to find out. Today, the team, which belongs to the Asia-Pacific Group on Money Laundering, began its evaluation of Taiwan's laws and practices. Over the next two weeks, the experts will be assessing nearly 100 Taiwanese companies and government agencies to determine just how vulnerable they are to money laundering and other fraudulent practices. Stakes are high, as a test could cost Taiwan its ability to freely handle financial transactions transactions overseas. At a ceremony marking the start of the APG third round mutual valuation, Premier Lai Qingde cheered on the departments and companies about to undergo valuation. This year, Taiwan's goal is to pass with flying colors for a place on the APG's regular follow-up list. It's all about strengthening the foundation for the rule of law, carrying out policies, and proposing administrative measures. I want to thank all of you for your hard work. Of course, most importantly, I share with everyone the hope that these efforts will not be for vain and that they will bring about a good score. A visiting team of peer reviewers will assess Taiwanese organizations in both the public and private sectors. 700 people will sit for exams and the assessment will factor in technical regulatory compliance along with the effectiveness of that compliance. The Executive Yuan's anti-money laundering office is slated to announce Taiwan's preliminary test results on November 16th. Taiwan will be permitted opportunities to address any issues with new evidence prior to the finalizing of results next July. I hope that we will be able to reach the goals we've set. The results won't be official until next year's APG annual meeting. Before then, we will have an opportunity to improve issues that are brought to light by the assessment. For this round of evaluations, the stakes are high. Poor results would lead to restrictions on Taiwan's international monetary flows and the overseas operations of its financial institutions.